Is dealing with internet outages worse in 2020 than ever before? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a little general interest tech vlog here. And it's, uh, it's about taking the internet for granted, I guess. Um, I guess during the summer or any kind of emergency or any kind of heat waves or storms, um, when the internet goes out, it seems like it causes a lot of anxiety for people. And I'm not sure if it's because of the current crisis that, you know, no one does anything anymore except, you know, uh, goes on their computer or, or streams things through streaming boxes or Netflix channels and so on. Um, or is it just the social media and everybody's just constantly just observing the world digitally, uh, looking at the matrix to their little pod or a little display. Um, I guess uh, people, uh, when you get into a routine of doing the same thing every day over and over and over like thousands of times a week, that you miss checking. Something is missing. There's this this feeling of emptiness, uh, this uh, lack of updates. Uh, you feel like you're missing out on what other people are doing. Let's say you have friends all over the world or over the country. Um, you're missing out on checking up on things. It's like some sort of weird thing. And I guess some people, the, to compensate for it, they start fixing up things around the house. I guess that's another thing with this recent crisis. People are starting to do things since they, they have other things now missing from their lives. I can't go to restaurants or I couldn't go to restaurants or I don't like going to restaurants anymore wearing a stupid diaper on my face. Um, they're doing other things. So they, it's just weird when the internet goes out. We've had the internet go out here a couple times uh, this past summer and um, you know sometimes for almost a day and you start to get a little bit, even people who aren't like addicts to uh, streaming things or social media like us, uh, we start, uh, you know, you, you become a little bit uh, out of place. And also, uh, some people would even drive. They'll take their car and say, I need to get on the internet. We need to find a, a mobile zone or what, whatever it may be if the, if the cell networks are out and, and so on. I, I'm, I'm speaking more in... in regards to physical internet at home, your laptop, Wi-Fi. Uh, most people have cell service uh, where they live. So, and they, everybody just wants their internet to come back on. And I guess once the, you see the router light up or, your, or the you know, notifications start coming in on your devices, you get this feeling of relief, almost like a hit of a, from, you know, if you're a drug addict and you get that hit uh, of heroin or whatever the hell you do. Um, and then once you check all your things, you, you, you're going off this little checklist, you know, I check, check off that, I check this. And then you realize like, well, smart people will realize like, you know, I didn't really miss anything. I just, I just caught up. And, and maybe that's what people miss is just getting caught up. And uh, maybe they're anxious about not, uh, not, not being caught up. And like the longer they wait for catching up, the longer it'll take. I have to spend five hours catching up on my meaningless uh, streams and so on. So, I don't know, I guess uh, maybe it's a sickness. You know, you, you, even after it's been proven that, you know, after all that time you missed the internet and you come back and nothing really important happened. Maybe that's where people should be these days, knowing that the internet doesn't really miss anyone if they're not there. Because quickly something will fill the void. You know what I mean? So that's it. If you like my little diatribe, hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.